application. Let's take a look at how you apply it. First of all, ensure the surface is thoroughly prepared, has been swept to remove any loose particles and is completely dry before painting. First coat. For all jet dry products, apply the paint with a brush, medium nap roller or spray gun. For larger surfaces, however, a roller is recommended. Cutting in. Cutting into the edges of the area you're about to paint allows you to more accurately apply the paint to tighter areas, like doors, fences and steps. Load the brush well, wiping it on the side of the can or container to remove excess paint, and then cut the area in with a brush, like this. Bring your brush along the line of the area you're painting in a smooth, confident stroke. Once you've cut in around the lines of the area you're about to paint, you're ready to start rolling on your paint. First, charge the roller up with paint, ensuring that a sufficient amount of paint is around the roller sleeve. Start in a corner or at the edge of the surface you're about to paint, and then in confident, firm strokes, bring the roller down towards you like this, and then back up to the top of the area like this, and then down once again overlapping the previously painted section as you go. You're looking to create an end shape with your roller strokes. We'll show you again. Down, up and then down again. Make sure the paint is applied to the surface in nice, even strokes and that the actual amount of paint applied in each painted section is even as well. Continue this process until your entire surface is covered and then lay off the area in nice, light, even strokes with an uncharged roller to ensure there are no roller marks across the surface. Allow two hours for the first coat to dry. You'll need to apply two coats of Jet Dry, so make sure that the first coat is completely dry before applying the second. The second coat is applied in exactly the same manner as the first. Start in a corner or at the edge and then in confident, firm strokes, bring the roller down and then back up to the top of the area and then down once again. Remember the end shape with your roller strokes. Continue this process until your entire surface is covered and then lay off the area in nice, light, even strokes with an uncharged roller to ensure there are no roller marks across the surface.